Hey guys, you're ready here. Welcome back to another daily episode of Cube World back with Blame and Kit. <laughs> I think I got it right. Hope everyone's enjoying themselves today. And I wanted to apologize just quickly and briefly about the lack of a oh god. Of a daily episode. God. Well, that was fun. Very entertaining. So much fun. I just wanted to uh, to apologize for the lack of an an episode yesterday. Um, I I was just exhausted. the uh, The long weekend got it got the better of me, and I just needed to have some time off. So I posted one of the uh, one of the pre update ones that I had available. So I'm like, yeah, why not? Dear Lord, is everything just out to get me? It, it seems that way. Holy crap! Yeah, so I haven't played since Saturday, since the live stream. And once again, I want to thank everybody for showing up and for all of their help and all of the shenanigans. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. I did. I, I actually, I really enjoy the live streams. They've always been uh, entertaining and fun and never, ever dull. And this place is just desolate. I hate ocean so much. What is that down there? It's a dude down there, but it's probably, it's a witch. I can see it's got the shape of a witch, the smell of a witch. <sighs> it's a witch. But I do see, I think it's a puffer fish ish kind of thing, or I don't even know what they call them in this game. Uh, let's have a quick potion while we're at it. Because I've been completely smited by everything around me. I can't believe that everything is just out to get me a blowfish. Uh, I guess we've got the potential of killing it. Not too sure. Oh, great. Piranha ahead of us, too. Here. Okay, yeah, we got this. We got this thing. Hopefully, Blame will show up down. Oh, dear lord. Get him, Blame! Sack him! I know that you do damage now. 8 XP I will take, by all means. Uh, linen shoulder armor. That should be for somebody other than us. And what do we have over here? That's the piranhas, which are red. Nope. And these are undead, which is nope. Which are going to see me anyway. I just want to go over to this fishy over here. The red one. Oh, they got me. They see me. I'm out of here. Dang, nabbit. Nothing quite like dying. In the middle of the ocean. Oh, good lord. Oh, I'm right back where I started from. This is grand. Life is wonderful. Oh, man. I have had the worst day today when it comes to gaming. Oh, how do I put this? Uh, you guys may or may not know that I've, I've been doing a series with the Drunk Gaming guys as sober gamers. Uh, we've been doing a Minecraft series, um, Beneath the Void uh, 3, I think it's called. Um, just a random CTM map in Minecraft. Well, we hit a wall today that I just hated. How do I put this? Uh, without sounding like a complete jerk. Because I'm, I'm going to be bitter about it. Minecraft in itself is a tough enough game. Uh, and the reason that we do it the way that we do with the CTMs is, is, you know, we get to hang out with our friends and and and, and play some Minecraft. So it's it's it makes it makes it much more like palatable for me. But this map, it's been difficult right from the start, which is fine. I don't mind difficult. Difficult is acceptable. But there is a certain point when people develop maps that they just become sadists. And whoever made this map, and I'm not going to like name names or anything because I don't know and I, I really don't care. This map went from hard, difficult to stupid, insane. Like beyond anything I've ever played. And the fun level went from... Uh, being able to enjoy myself and hanging out with the guys to being so frustrated that I ended up just farming and literally farming, like collecting potatoes and things because I was just frustrated. Then armor hit the same level with, as me, just like within moments and, and war who plays Minecraft more than anybody that I know, he hit his wall and yeah, like I, I don't enjoy a challenge that is unfair and that's what we ran across today with this with this stupid map 
So I don't know what the longevity of this map's going to be because the CTM is, you know, you got to collect, the, you know, craft the monument or whatever it is and collect all the wool. And and that has been fun. I mean, we've done a... Uh, this is our second one, I think, now so far. Uh, we've done a couple of other ones, but they haven't all been recorded. Um, and, you know, they've been entertaining and fun. But this one... Like, for me, it's been difficult right from the get-go. Um, but Kit and War have been able to persevere through a lot of it. And, and, like, we've all had our moments where it's worked. Today, we all failed miserably. And it wasn't because of our own personal failings. It was, again, just because of the way that the map was made and laid out. So, yeah, not too happy about that. But with that being said, I'm done getting my butt handed to me in video games today. Holy crap. Oh, I'm very excited to, um, my friends, how do, oh, yeah, I'm not trying, how do I put this? I had an amazing weekend. Uh, Canada Day was on Friday, and we did a whole bunch of drunk gaming, and it was a blast, and we recorded enough so that I had, like, basically I had a long weekend's worth of drunk gaming uh, stuff. Arrow wasn't able to stick around for all of it, so he missed out on um, the golfing with friends, but we did... Rocket League, and Rocket League was a blast, and Golfing with Friends was a blast, and it was just an, an enjoyable time hanging out with my buddies. And then on actual, like on American Independence Day yesterday, for me, which was two days ago for you guys, uh, hanging out with my roommate and another friend of mine, and the, the entire day was supposed to be about like, getting together, having a LAN party, you know, having some burgers and enjoying ourselves and just being goofs. And something I didn't have to record, didn't have to actually, like, work on YouTube because I had enough stuff that I just didn't have to do anything. To where I got up in the morning, went to go make coffee. And I have a, a Cuban coffee maker. It's like a, a little pressure cooker. You put it on the stove and you put your, your Cuban espresso in it and you put your water. And you turn on your stove and it makes coffee. So I set that up and went and turned on the computer and was coming over to a couple of things. And then I run back over to check on it. There's nothing. Like the stove's not working. And I looked at it and there's no power on the element. So I'm like, okay, maybe it's just this element's dead. But it wasn't on any of the elements. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's interesting. Then I stepped out into the garage to make sure that the circuit breaker hadn't flipped. And it had, but the panel was open. And when I came back in, I noticed that my roommate had a headlamp sitting next to the stove. I'm thinking, Okay, so something had to have happened. So I'm not going to fiddle with it. I'm just going to leave it alone. Glad I didn't, because uh, apparently the element in the oven had uh, broken and cracked and was shooting out sparks. And it's an older unit, so you couldn't just pull out the element and use a stovetop. So our oven, everything was dead. And we were planning on having, you know, hamburgers and, and sausages and all that kind of stuff for, for, um, for Independence Day. So, uh, <laughs> they ended up going out shopping, and they picked up a uh, charcoal. We were thinking, I, I was thinking, personally, of getting one of those little old hibachis, which is like something you used to put out on your patio, put some charcoal in it, you know, light it up, and away you go. It's got a couple little cast iron things. You can cook like five, six burgers on it, and away you go. They picked up this thing. It's like a smoker and everything else, and it took two hours to build the darn thing. Like, it was insanity. But we made a bunch of burgers, and oh god, is everything red? I think everything here is red. I am so under leveled for going out as far as I have. We'll just check it. Like, honestly, if this is not something doable, we are out of here. We will travel, but this is not looking good. Oh, what are we at? We got, oh, good lord. Was that two seconds? Like, that, blah, blah, blah. Everything so far has been red. Now, like, I've traveled a fair amount. I think Spawn was around here, or it was over here. Like, you should not travel out past your first biome, past level 10, or before you get to level 10. So, I am well past that. I am just... Oh, God. Well, we're going to have to do it. So, anyway, back to our uh, Independence Day party. So, yeah, we, we spent two hours building a, a grill. Thankfully, stores were open. I was actually shocked. 
Uh, they picked this thing up, and it was it was uh, so amazing because we actually cooked hamburgers and uh, we had uh, bratwurst and stuff, and we had frozen French fries that we put on a uh, <laughs> a piece of tin foil with some some oil and just prayed that it would actually cook, and it was it was good. I mean, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't what we were expecting, but it was still fun. But we never ended up getting a chance to do any gaming or anything. That was the only, the only part of the day that kind of blew. But you know, you know, hanging out with good friends and just enjoying ourselves. And even when you have like something horrible and awful happen, and you can still enjoy yourself, that to me, that's a good day. And I, I did. I had a really good day. Um, and my friend also gave me uh, his old monitor, which is his TV set. So I've got like a 46-inch, I think it's a Sony Bravier. I, I have to double check. But it's like this really insanely nice TV that I'm going to actually be hooking up as my monitor. And I'm just tickled to be able to do that. Because, like, are you kidding me? Like a 46-inch TV as a monitor is heavenly for me. Because I, I run a 32-inch TV currently. And, uh, oh God, why did I even do this? Well, I can try. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, right? Can I, this is going to be my boss battle today. This is what I'm going to do. Everything else has been way overpowered for me, so... Oh, dear God. Where is my... Uh, where's my, where's Blame? I can't blame Blame if he's not here. Let's do it. Okay. There we go. I might actually be able to accomplish this. See, I always get nervous when you run across, like, you know, bright red stuff, because it's usually way above your abilities, but I forget that in the ocean things are not not quite on the same level of hard as they are on land. It's still difficult. They still hit you, but I don't think they hit you as well. Like, that's 11 XP. Hey, can I get anything? There was no loot. Yeah, so anyway, I got this brand new TV. Uh, that's going to be my new, my monitor. And I'm going to do a whole bunch of stuff with it. Like, I've got some... I've got some plans. And, uh... Yeah, the whole thing is... How this whole thing came up is my friends were all... Uh, one good one of my good friends is actually building himself a new computer that he wanted. Um, so he's been coming over here, um, and my roommate's been building it for him. And he's just been hanging out. And I've, I've, known, I've known him for a while, but we've actually been able to hang out and spend some quality time together, and it's been a lot of fun. And so every now and again, you just have those friends that are just generous. And I tend to be one of those people myself. You know, if I have, um, like, games to give away to my friends or if they're a little bit hard up on cash and stuff and, you know, we're wanting to do a recording or something and I have the extra cash. Or if I have, like, a, I'll be buying, like, bundles or something and I'm like, oh, this would be great for drunk gaming and I'll get a couple bundles for everybody. And that's how I am. And it's really cool when you, you know, hang out with people that are similar. Oh, dear God, piranha everywhere. This has been awful. But anyway, yeah, I mean, it was just like this generous gift of like, here, I don't need this anymore. I've got new monitors for my new computer build. And uh, can you use it? I'm like, yeah, I'd love to use it. So it's now sitting in my, my room with my PlayStation and my surround sound hooked up to it as a regular TV. Uh, but soon enough, we're going to be hooking everything up here and moving it in and having a really nice new display. i got to get a wall mount for it. i got all kinds of weird plans. And... Um, my roommate's actually given me one of his older computers to use as a rendering machine. So that's going to alleviate a lot of my stress and pressure of, like, I can record, then I render. Record, then render, record, then render. Now I can actually record and render, but all be off of, like, separate machines. And that's going to be amazing. And we're just going to run over and see what this stupid place is. If it's red, obviously we're not going to do it. Oh, God, a monkey. This is going to be horrible. I know. These monkeys are brutal. Okay. I got potions, so I guess we could take them on, but dang, nabbit. Red monkeys. Come on. Clear up, would you? Okay. Did I get my ability unlocked yet? Nope. And I'm having a look around because I've got a glass of water sitting on my, right in front of my computer monitor here. Oh, dang it. So I couldn't see uh, <laughs> what my abilities are looking like. Oh, my God. Oh, this sucks. Okay, I can move my head. I can, I can get it. I can see it. Why do I do these stupid things? you think that after all these uh, episodes that I'd be able to remember how to organize myself. 12 XP. That's better. I mean, yeah, the battles are brutal, they're rough, but, I mean, I'm accomplishing them eventually. Lemon Beetle? Yeah, we'll take these guys on. Of course we will. Why wouldn't we? 
we want to get close to we, we got to get to 10 so however we do it we got to do it okay come on lemon beetles give me all your xp i know you want to you just killed blame oh god i'm in trouble hey hello okay you'd think i would stop fighting things after a while but no there we go one down that was orange so these should be five or six I think maybe okay we got him do I hit for more when I'm hidden incognito okay five this should be five or six five good okay I'm okay with that boss bell up ahead of us yeah so anyway um, after I'm done recording this tonight I get to go and work on uh, my render machine get that all up and running and I got to work tomorrow so it's only a half shift tomorrow I'm working in the evening uh, my boss is heading out of town for a couple of weeks so yeah over the next two and a half three weeks I've got to work 10 or 12 shifts so videos may get a little light if they go down to two please understand of course I'll be letting you guys know I'm gonna do my best to uh, try to get things done so that I can do more than two uh, I like having three videos. It's a lot of fun for me. And with the new render machine, that should alleviate some of my problems, which means I can do a batch recording, get a bunch of stuff done, and then just set it up to render and not have to worry about it and do more stuff. So that is my intention going forward. But yeah, it also means that I can actually get together and make some uh, some of the servers we need. Oh, good. Temple of Terok. Uh, we're going to go down see what it's like inside it says blue on the outside it might be something completely else inside but we will go and check and we will find out for tomorrow's episode what we're going to run into hey a little preview a little bit of a, a sneak peek oh i'll take some bottles though by all means oh dang nabbit it was right there i didn't even see it <laughs> okay <laughs> and they are just light blue so there you go guys tomorrow we'll be back and we will take on the temple of terror rock and I will see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.